What's up, YouTube? It's me, Lewis, back with another YouTube video. And back with another video, and today I'll be sharing my experience that I had with drop shipping. Now, drop shipping is where you're pretty much the middleman. It's the customer, the supplier, then you. You're the person that collects the money. Um, you know, let's say, okay, I have this sweater, and no, the supply. I'm mixing everything up. The supplier has the items, and the custom you take those items like Ali, AliExpress. AliExpress, you know, has cheap items. You take that cheap item, and you post it on your website, and you bump the price up by you know a lot. You okay? A phone case on AliExpress is like two dollars, and you take that, copy and paste the information the pictures and you put that on your website and you bump that price up from they selling it for two dollars but you're selling it for like twenty twenty five dollars the customer buys that product and you you don't have the product in your hand you don't you you didn't touch this product you don't have this product and in, in your hand you don't have it in your possession the supplier does so you take their shipping information and you give that to the supplier and that supplier ships that item to the customer. Pretty much that's what drop shipping is in a nutshell. But um, yeah, um, I started, I've been doing drop shipping for a couple of months and you know, I'm not by all means no professional at all. Um, you know, I started drop shipping. You know, you build a website, you advertise, you mar you market it, you advertise it, you promote it, you do all this stuff, you make sales. Um, but you know, the bad thing about drop shipping is AliExpress is in China, so it could take weeks to get to that person it could take months to get to that person in some cases people don't even get the item so what i did so i would what i did was i ordered a bunch of items and i'll sh i'll probably have a screen recording on the thing i ordered a bunch of items and you know i tested them i see which ones get to me the fastest these are all my orders that i ordered and i see which item gets to me the fastest which item that i could actually want like you know which item i could actually see myself selling and having no problems with because you are going to run into a lot of problems you don't really get a a, a ups tracking number you don't get that because it's based in china so they tracking is very different from ours um the estimate time could be from weeks to months some people told me that they never got their items so you have to give refunds um it's a lot of problems that can go into drop shipping um you know the big thing is you really can't give them a, a, a estimate time if you just drop ship so if you just don't you have to do your research too on these items you can't just go to the item, oh, I like this item, you know, and just copy that paste. You have to go to the item. Let me show you, let me let me think I can put up another screen. You go to the item, and you go to the item, and you, oh, did I just show somebody? I guess, no, okay. You go to the item, and you go to, you know, the pictures or whatever. You go to the pictures and you see good quality. you know you read the descriptions you read the ratings you read everything you you see try to get a feel of how fast it will get to you you know you try to you try to make it you know you try to you try to pretty much see how fast this item will get to you and pretty much if you live of course if you live in the United States you're gonna click the United States flag and see read those ratings you know super fast shipping um, came in very quick so this item people seeing it, it ships fast I actually have one of these one of these um, one of these flower cases I, I take my time I pod air pod cases so I actually have one and I just want you to see that 
I'm not just talking. Um, I ordered off of there and this is amazing quality, actually. This is amazing quality, actually. Like, I test, I try to order and test the items before I just put them on a website. You know, I want to, you know, give the customers a, I want to make sure for myself that what the customers are going to get is actually what I would want. So pretty much, you know what I'm trying to say. But yeah, um, I order items. I, you know, make sure it's good quality. And after that, I post it on, I copy. And then, then I start to pretty much, then I start the drop shipping on procedure as in, I don't bulk, like I don't order a bulk. I just, if I like the product and it's good quality, then I will start drop shipping that item. I like to do, what really sells is phone cases. Phone cases sell a, sell a lot. Um, Shopify is the go-to platform to start dropshipping pretty much. That's where all the YouTubers do it and that's where you know, you'll know you see it every time you go to a how to dropship um, video, talk, they will talk about um, um, Shopify. So yeah. Um, my experience, you get a lot of questions. Customers are very sometimes impatient. You know, they want it the next week or something, which, you know, this item I could say took me at least two to three weeks. So you wanna make sure you put that in the, in the description that it takes two to three weeks to get to them. It will probably take two to three weeks to get to them. Now, it will probably take two to three weeks to get to them. Um, depending on where this customer lives and it could take longer. Now. 90% of all items on shop um, Alix 90% of all items don't not really but a lot damn that 90% of all items on AliExpress have free shipping. If it's not free shipping, it's about $2, $3 ship. It's not that expensive to get something shipped to you. Um and that's where you can do international shipping. I see a lot, believe it or not, from me being like one of those people that's actually doing now, doing it now, like drop shipping, and then I'm no professional again. I am no professional at this at all. I'm still learning. But for me seeing all these people on Instagram and looking at their pages, 95 or 99% of all Instagram people that have like little phone cases and little actually selling hair um jewelry it comes from aliexpress i kid you now now i could look at somebody's instagram and say oh yeah they got that from aliexpress easy now because when you've been on aliexpress for so long like i spent hours on aliexpress looking up products and looking up this and that but when you actually you can tell i could tell now like oh yeah that came from aliexpress easy which is no problem. AliExpress has some, I'm not promoting them at all, but of course I'm not getting paid. I'm still only almost at 100 subscribers. And I wanna thank you guys for that. But again, I'm not promoting them, but AliExpress does have some good things. Does have some amazing qualities from it to just come from China. But um, you could start drop shipping with no money at all, probably the most $150, $250 if you want to promote, you know, advertise on Facebook ads and things like that. Now, I, again, not a professional. You can look up multiple videos on how to drop shipping, how to drop ship. This is just my experience with it. I had some bad days and I had some luck. You know, you just have to, all it comes to is good customer service. Try to make your customer feel like, okay, it's don't lie to your customer just be reasonable with them like you know it's gonna take a little longer than expected I'm so sorry for the inconvenience you know but uh, maybe we can work something out you know and if it doesn't get to them of course don't be an asshole and just give them a refund but if you're gonna try it try it I have a prop um, again I have I'm not a professional at this at all I'm not a professional at this at all. I just like to find different ways to make money and I'll pretty much not really try anything, you know, but you know, if you're gonna do it, give it a shot. You know, I would prefer you starting up a Shopify account to do it. It's, or 
a big cartel account. You know, you don't have to use a Shopify because Shopify does cost money each month, but you want to make sure your website is presentable and you know, like you want to make sure your uh, website is appealing to the customer. Make sure it's not like looking like a scam website. Like a lot of people won't buy from you because the website looks like it could be like a scam. So, you know, but that's pretty much it. If you want to try it, try it. But make sure you do your research on that item. Make sure you read all the comments. Make sure you order it for yourself and then start so it can be so you won't be clueless about why is this customer saying you know it's bad quality and this and that? So, um, yeah. If you, um, I guess I'll wrap the the video here. I'm sorry. It's, it is now day six. It is December sixth, Friday at eight forty three a.m. So yeah. Um, if you're gonna do it, you know I say why not it's nothing wrong with trying to make some extra money but if you want to see more videos like this if you have any questions for i'm talking so fast but if you have any questions for me please leave them down in the comments below um and yeah please follow me on instagram i never actually chat on my instagram at underscore i'm lewis i'll probably have it on the screen and please like share and subscribe to the channel I'm trying to be more content instead of just talking about day-to-day -day problems. I'm tired of talking about it. But if you have anything you want me to talk about or anything you want me to do, um, please leave it down in the comments. And if you have any questions, again, leave them down in the comments. And I want to thank you guys for watching again. I'll see you guys in the next one. Next probably video. Next video, I'll probably be teaching you how to list on Depop. Um, I'll probably show you a video how I list on Depop and things like that. Um, I guess that's all for now. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.